everyone, my name is Karen and I am the Associate Counselor here at Plexus. Welcome to the What to Do After Submitting SIR workshop. In this workshop, I will go ahead and guide you through different things that you can do after you have submitted your admission to a university. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off with what is an SIR if you are familiar with the term. An SIR means Statement of Intent to Register. It is basically a form of letting the University of Interest know that you want to enroll at their university for the term you indicated on their application. Uh, the, the date where the universities are most likely going to want uh, to know your decision is by May 1st, also known as College Day. You can find the SIR, the Statement of Intent to Register, at the university portal after you receive your acceptance offer. That is, after you apply, you are usually given like a username or a student ID and password in order to register into the university portal. And once you are logged in in that website, you can go ahead and submit the SIR. The most common one is joining their Facebook page. You can go ahead and like and uh, join their Facebook group. Another one is joining the class of blank Facebook group. Depending on the year you are graduating from college, you can go ahead and join the group of your graduating class. And like that, you'll get to know other peers from the same school. You can also follow them on Instagram slash Twitter in order to stay up to date with the most current events happening at the university. Apply for scholarships. This one is very, very important. Uh, some ways that you can go ahead and apply for scholarships would be through local organizations. You can go ahead and explore your community to see if maybe there are some organizations within your city that offer scholarships to students who are pursuing a higher education. There might be some state scholarships available. You can go ahead and probably search your state website to see if there are any scholarships available or you can simply search, um, I guess like perform a Google search of scholarships specifically for, um, as an example, California students. Major scholarships, as I mentioned before, the same goes with state. You can go ahead and perform a Google search uh, to see any scholarships available for the major you are interested in pursuing. University scholarships. This is a famous one. It is usually um, included in your financial aid package. If it's not, then you have to apply for it directly. You can usually find these university scholarships on the university website itself. And finally, here are some useful websites that may work for you in order to look for scholarships. Fastweb.com, niche.com, scholarships.com and unigo.com reach out to your peers first we have find a roommate if applicable i say if applicable because not every freshman is going to decide to live in the dorms during their first few years of college um, maybe some students decide to go to their local college and they don't have to room in a dorm at all Connect with other students in your graduating class. As I mentioned before, you can go ahead and join the Facebook page, which is a class of blind Facebook page. That is only if the university offers it. Um, if not, you can go ahead and find other methods, like for example, uh, through Instagram or Twitter, or maybe you already know of some people who may know some people that um, are included in your graduating class. Connect with current students. Um, the same thing goes with this one. You can go ahead and connect with current students through the Facebook page, through Instagram, through Twitter, or the same thing. You probably know someone who knows someone who already goes to that school. And finally, the university Facebook page, as I have mentioned in the previous ones, you can go ahead and follow and like their Facebook page for the to stay up to date with the most current information. Complete your checklist. As you may already know, the university usually gives you a checklist that you need to complete before you begin your classes. And some of the things that are included in this checklist are sending your high school transcripts. You may have already done this when you submitted your application. 
sending immunization records. Uh, this is to prove that uh, you have all the required vaccines and that you are healthy enough to be attending the university. Take online placement exams. Not every placement exam is going to be online. However, some are. So if you have if you have to take any placement exams, you can go ahead and take them online. That is only if they are offered. Pre-orientation test. A lot of universities have you register for orientation, which usually happens during the summer, and they all and they usually always offer some pre-orientation tasks that they want you to complete. And some of those tasks that may include um, videos or maybe surveys that they want you to complete beforehand. Complete your housing contract if applicable. And again, I say if applicable because not every student is going to decide to live in their dorms or in their housing spaces during the first year. Register for orientation. This is something that should be part of your university checklist before you register for classes. Some of the things that you'll be able to do during orientation will be register for classes, which is also the most exciting thing that happens during orientation. You'll be able to meet students in your major. A lot of uh, orientation programs usually group students together based on the major they are in. So this is a great benefit in order to get to know more people. You'll be able to take placement exams. That is, if you are unable to take online placement exams, then the university will usually offer to take placement exams during the orientation session. You'll be able to explore campus opportunities. Um, during orientation, there'll also be a lot of tabling. And by tabling, I mean a lot of like clubs that are interested in recruiting you uh, to be part of their... Um, Explore campus opportunities. During orientation, you'll probably see a lot of tabling. And by tabling, I mean that it will be usually clubs or organizations that are interested in recruiting you um, and for you to be part of their organization as well. So it's a great way to begin getting involved. Get to know your school. By that, I mean exploring their website, explore, I guess, the different links and the different resources they might have. Go on a campus tour if you haven't yet. Uh, once you submit your SIR, then you are definite that you are going to that school. So you can go ahead and take a campus tour to get more familiar to the university you will be attending. Or you can take a virtual campus tour. Um, or you can take a virtual campus tour um, that is maybe the university you want to go to is out of state and you currently don't have the time to um, i guess book a ticket because you are still in school then a lot of universities right now are offering a virtual campus tour for their students research clubs of interest a lot of universities have the clubs all of the clubs they have available on their website so you can go ahead and explore uh, the different clubs they have available to see if one stands out to you and so you can go ahead and uh, join them and uh, reach out to them during your first few days of uh, college. Research opportunities within your major that is maybe there are some internships available maybe you can uh, volunteer at some organization that you're interested in or maybe you would like to find a uh, entry-level job in the major you are uh, interested in pursuing. So that is just some examples of opportunities that may be available for you. All right, we have reached the end of this workshop. Thank you for sticking around. Before I leave, I would like to let you all know to please download our Plexus app. If you download our app, you'll be able to receive instant notifications from my counselor. We will also very much appreciate it if you leave us a rating and a review on the App Store or Google Play. We very, very much appreciate any feedback you all can give us. Also, chat with my counselor if you have any questions regarding this video or if you would like to reach out about your journey to higher education. We are always happy to help in answering all of your questions. And finally, we have a lot of higher education workshops geared, to, geared towards college readiness, so you can go ahead and explore our Plexus social media page for more workshops. Thank you again, and I will see you all in the next workshop. Bye, everyone.